Awesome. And Dr. Raj, why? What, what was going on in Laura's knee? Why was she such a great candidate for this? Well, first of all, number one, she's young. What? She's motivated. And she had arthritis in one specific compartment on the inside of her knee. So I was able to put a camera in, clean up the arthritic lesions, not take away cartilage, clean it up, and utilize the technology of bone marrow-derived stem cells to put into the knee at the same time in order to regenerate. So what, what other kind of folks would, would benefit? I think a lot of people are sitting at home suffering right now saying, I've got degeneration, wear and tear, a lot of weakened warriors and people who are wondering, hey, I don't want to do anything and I'm subject to a knee replacement. So realistically, it can benefit a huge segment of the population where you know where I can go in and not only just do stem cells alone, because stem cells in a dirty knee a knee that has cartilage tearing loose bodies, it's not gonna work as effectively. You correct the issue, create a clean knee, and then utilize this technology by putting it in. So almost anyone who has knee pain should have this addressed. In my case, I tried this before going to a partial knee replacement, yes. but every case is different, right? I was bone on bone, older than Laura, so it didn't work. Yeah, I mean, everyone has to be individually assessed. So in terms of who's a candidate, it depends on where you are in the phase of your disease. You could be too far gone if you've got flexion contracture, bone on bone, and you know, cortisone's not working. And then at that point, you have to look into knee replacements. But if you're in this realm where you've got people putting in your head you need a knee replacement, get that opinion, look for different answers. And, Start living your life. If you And if you go to someone reputable and they know what they're talking about, be careful in the, the world of stem cell treatments. Obviously, there are a lot of hoaxes out there still. You could give it a whirl like Laura and have a great result. What's your, uh, what's your game plan going forward? What are you excited to get back into? All right, well, number one game plan is losing some weight because over the course of the last two years, a little bit more than two years until I did this, I wasn't able to exercise to the degree of breaking mm -hmm. a sweat, mm -hmm. to the degree of you know burning off some calories and some of that fat. So weight loss through my favorite thing ever, dancing, and I've got to get back to hip hop. I've got to get back to salsa dancing. <laughs> Take your yeah, right. again, right? Huh? Take, right? Maybe not. No, it's, no, it's, no. It's, no. It's, no. I'm and so that's, glad you yeah. have a great result here. No, that's, I'm amazed mm -hmm. and so happy. Um, you know, two days out, no crutches. Four days out, a Laker game. A week later, back at work. You know, seeing patients bopping good around. You. You're a busy yeah. girl. I know. I tried to be. It sounds yeah. like it was a good, a great decision. It was a great absolutely, decision. and yeah. I would recommend it to anybody that asks me. And I've already been referring patients to Dr. Raj. So. And let me say the Laker game and also the concert were in part of the equation. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you, that wasn't I your recommendation it. four days it. out going no. to Lakers game. Dr. Raj, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you as well. Thank you so much.